Hey, this is Dino, and today I want to show you how to embed a Verify API key policy into an Apigee proxy. So to start, open the Google Cloud Console uh, and select Apigee in the left-hand side navigation. When you get the list of API proxies, create a new one, uh, specify a no-target proxy, and let's just call it Verify-1. When that gets created, uh, select the Develop tab, and in the preflow, attach a verify API key policy. Um, you can name that whatever you want. I'll choose something really simple here. Um, make sure it's in uh, the preflow. That's where you want to see it. Uh, and configure it. I'm going to select, um, by default, it chooses the query param for the um, inbound API key, but I want that to be in the header. So change that. Um, then select the post flow and add another policy and assign message. This is just gonna be a contrived response that we add to the API proxy for requests that go through. Now this is a loopback proxy, so it doesn't connect to anything in the, as a target. By setting the contrived response, we will actually get a response when we invoke this API proxy. And the way to do that is uh, to set the payload element inside the assign message policy, and you can specify whatever you want. This is just going to be a fixed payload, um, and you know it's sort of up to you how you want to configure that. But in the end, uh, the assign message policy should be very simple, just to have that one set payload statement in it. Then save it, and once it's saved, you can deploy it. Uh, select your environment, and that'll take a few seconds. When that's finished, uh, what we want to do is just make sure that it all deployed, that everything looks good, um, and then we can invoke it. Now, in order to invoke it, you need to know what the endpoint of your um, API proxy is, and that's something that you set up when you configure Apigee. But once you do that, you can send in a curl request, uh, use curl to send in a request, and here we haven't specified any API key, and the proxy is telling us, hey, you haven't sent one. So let's send one, uh, just a made up key, and you can see that request, and the proxy's saying, oh, that's not a valid key. This is what we expect, so this is correct behavior. So how do we get a valid API key? Well, back in the Cloud Console, select API Products in the left-hand side navigation, and let's create one. Um, I'll just make up a name, um, select a few settings. Uh, most important thing here is to select an operation and that needs to be an operation on the API proxy that we just created. So I'll use a path of slash star star and a verb of get. Uh, and what that means is this API product will allow gets on that API proxy. Um, then we need to add a developer, and I'll just make one up here, uh, specifying the, the name and the email, just for testing purposes. And then create an app and attach it to that newly created developer. Um, so again, just made up names, doesn't really matter what you're using here. Um, important part here is to add a credential, select the product that you just created, uh, add that and then save it. Once you save the app, um, you will see a credential. You'll see an API key, and that's the thing we need to pass in the header. So copy that and flip back over to the console. Uh, we'll try another request. Um, same one, uh, but just specifying the API key that we copied out of that newly created app. Uh, and what we expect here is for Apigee to honor that API key, validate it, and tell us it's okay. And in fact, that's what we got. Uh, and just to double check, if we pass an uh, API key that's not valid, uh, we should still expect to see an invalid API key response. So that's how you can set up 